Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to create a contact form working with a Gmail SMTP, which means sending emails through your contact form. The first thing you are going to do is going to Google and creating a Gmail account. I've already created this account, the UUU official. If you want, you can also use it to your tests if you don't mind in using mine. But if you are going to use some more important, some more professional stuff, you I recommend you to create a new account and never use your own. Then, let's secure apps in Google. This will lead you to the support Google page. And this is not what I want. I want this my account Google, which says that where and when I can Activate and one, not. The switch is going to start as off, but you are going to turn it on. And I actually start using the SMTP right away. Now we are going to open Champ. And while the Champ is opening, I'm going to create a new file called index.html. HTM, exactly, HTML. Now I'm going to close this port because I was doing some tests and opening the live. With the live open it, I'm going to search for the, the root in here, you see. This is not the index I want, I'm going to use this one, the... Yes, I need to first stop this one and I'm going to open it with live server. Now the web server that we are actually seeing here, it's the one that we want. Now exclamation mark, enter and the default is pressed. Now the document we are going to put uh, contact form and I are going to already use a heading with a contact form text. And just to update it, okay, now it is actually updating alone. And you are going to start off with a label, which is a really good practice. And this one label is going to hold the name. Downside the label, we are going to put the input with the text, with the break after. I'm going to zoom it a bit and you see that it is already gaining some shape. Now we are going to put the email. Now we are going to put the subject. All of the subject I want to do something different. Instead of using the input text, which I have a video about the inputs, I'm going to put the input select option. And this is the input select option that I want to show you guys. I'm going to just put a label in here, just so you see. Now you can see that a subject tells us to choose an option which can be help, talk, wanna talk, blah blah blah. And if we choose another one, we cannot go back because it's blocked. So we cannot go back with no value. After this, we are going to put the text area so we can actually tell the message. We are going to put label message and we are going to paste it here with a big M and two dots. And you are going to put a BR in here because it looks better with the text area. I already have a place to put our text. We are going to take off the user stuff. And lastly, the submit. Submit button simply, which we are going to use it to submit stuff. Mm, input submit, exactly. Okay, there is nothing here. Submit. Now we've made the input submit. Okay, we remove the value so it isn't uh, because the value is the text in here. So if we remove it, it gets this value by default. Now we are going to start creating the form as well because. This is not a form without a form tag. And in the form, we are going to put an action, which is going to be where it is going to be sent. The information, I mean. And it's going to go to uh, send email.php. And we are going to put a method post, which is more secure than the get one. It's basically a trade between security and speed. And I, I'd rather have a little bit more secure. So after this, what we are going to do is installing the PHP mailer, which is going to be the tool that we are going to use. First, we are going to terminal new terminal for the send emails and here we are going to use this command composer require php mailer php mailer the composer it's a program that helps us install stuff for php require is because we are going to require the php mailer php mailer which is a really large library to help us use the smtp to send emails through php not only f through the gmail but a server side as well right now we are going to create a new file why? Because we need to send this information somewhere. We are going to send it to email.php. There we go. Now we are going to open the PHP tag and we are going to use all of this. The first one of them are going to be used later. The, the other one, probably not. Although these three need to be requiring and actually getting the right path. Because if you go to the vendor, PHP mailer, PHP mailer again because they are two folders with the same name, source, and there you can find exception PHP mailer and the SMTP as well. I needed to change it myself for me to work. If yours are not working, you can try it out, do some changes or even leave in the comments, of course. Now we are going to assign all the variables that we are going to use to empty, not null. Because if we are saying that the name, the subject, the email and the message are going to be empty, then it is not going to say that 
it was null. Now a function that I stole somewhere there, I think that it was from Devil 3 schools, the test input, which is going to receive data, which is going to receive each one of these variables, and it is going to trim it, which is going to be removing all white spaces before and after, strip the lashes, so they will not be able to move through folders and through websites, through pages, HTML special characters, so they will not be able to do random stuff with these random characters you see, because they could be a little bit hard to counter. And then we are going to return it again, after we clean it up. Now we are going to start doing some more hardcore validations. We are going to check if the request method that we used in the form here, the, the post method, is post, and it should be. But if someone makes it through get one, if they cheat um, the next page, like my your website slash send email at PHP, they will not be able to start using these things, this code that we are going to write in here. And in here are the validations that we talked about. The test input. We are going to test all the camps so they don't get messy and all, okay? We are always make sure that it's a little bit more safer than the other. Now, still inside here, because the rest of the code is going to be written inside here, we are going to start an if, and we are going to check if this, the submit was set. Because if it was not set, if we did not click it, if we were using an API, just an example, an insomnia or the postman, if we, if we are not clicking this submit, we must not proceed further. Now, I'm going to try my best to explain this. We are going to create an object of the class PHP mailer, the one that we just downloaded through Composer. We are going to say that it is SMTP and we are going to use SMTP as a mailer. Now we are going to say that we don't want to, do, to debug because we are not doing this right now. We don't need to do it because I'm just showing you how a already working code is going to be. We are going to authenticate the SMTP. We are going to say that the secure method of SMTP is going to be the TLS, which I don't know anymore else. The port is going to be the default, don't mess with it. The host, always this smtpgoogle.com, if you are going to use the Gmail. And the username and the password of your email, which that's why I recommend you to get yourself a new one. And yes, you can use mine if you don't want to create one just to try it out. After this, we are going to check if the email is going to be through HTML. And we are going to add address. The address that you are going to add is going to be the mine, yours. It is going to be the one that you put in here because you are not going to send it anywhere, but you are going to send the information that someone wrote in here to yourself so you can see it in your email. After that, you are going to also put who you are going to, because it is a little bit confusing, but the add address is going to be the email that you are going to send to. You are going to send to yourself. From where? From yourself. I tried to put the name here, but you could put anything else because it is not going to really change much, okay? This line of code doesn't really need much explanation. It's just assigning the subject of the letter of the email with this subject here that we are going to choose. And the last email line of code that we are going to use is the message HTML. And first we are going to say what's the name of the person who's contacting us. Hi, I am and the name. Then we are going to break it so we can like and enter, we can write below, then you are going to say whose email from and the message itself. You may do something like change the order so you put from before and just say the name after, but that's up to you. Then to the final validations, we are going to send it and if we send it, it is not going to give an error, but if we send it and it returns a specific number, it is not going to be able because of the question mark and it is going to be error while sending the email. Now, I could try it and it would not work because there are two big things that we still need to do. First one is going to be opening Shump and changing through the live server to localhost because without a localhost we cannot really test the PHP. There you go. And now, since we are already in the localhost, we need to change something here because if we... I'm going to show you guys. If you just put it here in blah blah blah, submit, it is going to give an us four errors. Undefined array key. What's that? It's saying that the th stuff are empty. What stuff? When you do, do this thing here, the post, post name, post email, post subject and post message is asking for certain values which are going to be sent through the post, through the form and if they are empty, we cannot work with them. We cannot assign anything if they are empty. And to check that, we have to at least, at the very least, say that these inputs, every input is going to have a value. And we are not going to assign a value because 
assigning a value, it's what we do in here. This is assigning a value. What you want to do is specifying the name, not the ID. So for the text, for the name, you're going to put name equals to name. Yes, this is a little bit redundant because it's the name, but for the email, you're going to ch change it to email. And for the select, we are going also to ch change it to subject. And lastly, for the text area, we are going to also change it to message. And don't forget to also put the submit, otherwise the second part of our code is not going to work. This part here, where you check if they really re uh, press the button, okay? Now we are going to refresh the page, we are going to select everything. I need help sending emails. We are not going to, to press it right now, because we are going to go to the email. Other way you could not uh, believe me, okay? This is from previous tests, and I don't know why, but they are always saying that my account is not secure, I don't understand this. And uh, since it's really, really clean, we are going to submit the email. Email sent successfully. And as you can see, you can refresh it, and here we go. We already received the email, and you can see by the time below that I didn't cut and send it through anywhere else. And here it says, hi, I'm Laura, from lore blah 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 the email you could change the way you do is do it here with the concatenation you could change like from email and so you just just understand and the message i need help sending emails that's what I, the video for you can always change everything here you, can, you could put more camps you could put something like where are you from what's your language you could put a lot of more things and the reason i made a really basic html with any style contact form is because the only thing that I want to show you guys is the form, which you need to put this form before, and you have to have these names in here. Those are the most important things while we are trying to do this. Because if you want to get something prettier, or if you already have a contact form, really pretty, really nice, and you just want to have it working, there you go, I've made you it. So, if you have any doubt, any question, you can leave in the comments. If I can help you, I will help you. If you want also the source code, I can also put in the description, in the GitHub. So, thank you guys, hope you guys enjoyed and see you soon.